game, if it's genuinely good and it's an awesome game, then buy it. If it has DRM, don't fucking buy it. That's what you say on your YouTube videos. You don't pay for garbage and you don't fucking bend over the tree stump and take it without Astroglide uh, with some green re green cross on, on stim packs. Are you nuts? Unacceptable. Aesthetically displeasing, uh, aesthetically offensive, egregious. No, the Red Cross doesn't own Jack Squat. Yes, you're right. The, the Red Cross can sue game companies, the companies that release this. However, they can't sue individual gamers modifying things and changing things the way... You know, we fixed the fucking uh, Doom 2 shotgun, right? There's a mi misaligned pixel, and there's always been a misaligned pixel with the Doom 2 shotgun, right? Yeah, we fixed I, it. I know. We fixed I know. It. There, there's Who whole... sued us? Who fucking sued us for fixing it? You see what I'm saying, dude? You gotta say the right fucking things. I wish YouTubers would just tell the fucking truth. We fixed the fucking shotgun. We fixed all this other crap with Doom. Why can't we fix the fucking stim packs? Why are you willing to fucking bend over for the green ones? Well, like, people can just mod the green ones out too, you know? But you didn't tell them that! A lot of people watching your videos probably don't know for Doom from fucking uh, Apple DOS. You know what I'm saying? They don't know shit. A lot of people are amateurs. They don't know about Doom. And you should at least tell them that it's available. The heterosexual, unmolested, genuine version of Doom, the right version of Doom, is freely available. But you didn't say shit! On the contrary, That's what I'm pissed well, about. You might I, be a nice guy, you might be a nice guy, but I'm just, I'm tired of YouTubers skimming over important shit like that. Well, I assume people who watched my video already know that the Steam and GOG versions are available, no. and they are the uncensored, heterosexual, unmolested versions. And yes, you have to pay for them because the people who... There are still a few people who worked at id that made the game, and they still get money from that. No. There's Kevin Cloud and Donna Jackson, yeah, two they employees blow. that work in the id era, worked in the Doom era even. Yeah, well, they and blow now, so... Oh, Doom has already made its they... money. Uh, do you know anything about preservation? What, we gotta pay for it 30 years from now too? Come, give me a break, dude. It's preserved. That's the great thing about releasing source code. That is the admirable thing that John Carmack did and that like no other game company ever fucking does these days. Release the source code so gamers actually own the game. For real. That is a beautiful thing, dude. And we should be taking advantage of it and making the best version of the game. And, and not recommending lower ports of it. Lower garbage... I'm, I'm, I'm a I didn't real Doom recommend fan, dude. The, I, di I didn't recommend the port. I, I told everyone to play the. I know that you were fairly have. honest, and I like that. You said, "Oh God," and I like that. I actually like when you're saying, "Oh God, that's fucking this stupid." Ver I like when YouTubers are honest like that. Like when they say things like that. Most YouTubers are so. It's okay. You should maybe try it. He he he. They're so soft, but you weren't being soft, and I appreciated that. The only part that I stopped the video. I didn't even watch it all. Maybe I will because you had the guts to get in voice chat. I give you credit for that. Uh, but but maybe I'll finish watching it just for that. However, I stopped it because I Tony Hawk could have done stunts off the veins of my forehead when I heard you say that. Yeah, let's put up the green version of the cross. That uh, oh god, dude, my jaws got so tight that oh oh baby, I could have I could cut diamonds with my teeth. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but are you sure? That, that guy's really quiet. Hey, get your Walmart microphone up there a bit. That's the baby. My mic was far away. Yeah. But anyway, I don't want to be that. Are you sure that's less of an issue with the video and more of an issue of your reaction? Because that's just, I don't want to be, that's just not normal, dude. You know? It's, it's not normal. Like so so if you hear a YouTuber tell you with a straight face to buy the, the Xbox version of Battletoads, uh, rather than just download the arcade ROM for MAME, which is better... You're going to say, yeah, that's cool, bro? Oh, boy. Oh, no, I'm man. not because, because Battletoads sucks. You know, what I'm be you know what my point is, dude. It's like, why would you pay? Th why did you play 32X Mortal Kombat when you could play the fucking arcade version, the MAME version, right now for free? F-R-E-E. -E. Do you understand? You don't oh. recommend the 32X version or the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat. No, you don't. You don't recommend to gamers inferior fucking lower versions of ports. No, that's a bad gamer. Bad gamer. Yeah, I didn't recommend the port, and you know, I'm you not could saying always, you did. You could always get the Steam and GOG version, my, my dude. And I know it I, sounds I mean, like you understand Doom. You, it you sounds like you it, understand it. You, you understand can get it Doom, legally. Right? You won't have Who to. Who cares deal about with legal? Anyone. Why do you keep saying that word? Because Odd Howard has shut down my friend's internet for Who? actually get pirating Skyrim. No joke. Well, it wasn't, like, Todd Howard himself, but when he pirated, like, Skyrim... Yeah? 
like his internet got shut down. Is he uh, apparently Bethesda is really anal about piracy? You know what? Okay. Well, now that I know that, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to intentionally pirate and distribute that game even more now, motherfuckers. Todd, they're not going to tell me it. what to do. You, I was in the fucking scene, dude. I was deep in the fucking piracy scene. I'm not going to let that shit happen. I, I'm just wondering where all my fucking friends went, where all those people went, all the people who understood gaming. Uh, I'll show you a picture right now, dude. Here's a screenshot. This is. I, I bet maybe three people on the fucking planet has ever seen a screenshot like this before. This was in 2001. You ever played the game Operation Flashpoint or Arma? Yes, I've heard Okay, of this is the moment it was released on the internet right there. I bet nobody in this channel right now understands what they're looking at right there. Well, I'll IRC. explain it to you. That's an IRC channel, a hidden IRC channel. It's, it's what's called a top site. The, remember, this is 2001, so it's pretty old. That's what's called a top site, and that's a bot relaying information what's going on the FTP server. The FP, FTP server, of course, was an illegal, what you would say, an illegal piracy FTP server. Well, it doesn't matter. I was a courier. Basically, I would upload, um, I would distribute games or programs or whatever, piracy shit, pirated shit, on the actual FTP servers directly, calling FXP, it's called Flash FXP. But right there, you can see at the moment it was preed. It said, new game release, Operation Flashpoint, Deviants. That's the group who released it. That's the piracy group, Deviants. And I got a fucking huge boner. I almost launched my computer desk into orbit from my erection. Because I was waiting for that fucking game to come out. I was I, I was excited for it. I was, you know, anticipating it. And it came out before stores, like pir pirated games usually used to. Not much anymore with Denuvo and all that crap. But, but they used to come out before it was in stores. So, so what you're looking at... Listen to this guy. Hey, hey, there's always oh, not in voice, but um, but I, I am. You should fucking promote piracy, dude. If it weren't for piracy, all these games, all these arcade games, Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, Pac-Man, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Rampage, all these old arcade games would be lost to time. Don't ever fuck. If you're a gamer, you don't ever be anti-piracy. Don't you ever tell me because if it wasn't for piracy, we wouldn't have dumped these fucking arcade boards and they would have had bit rot happen to them and we would have lost that data. Don't you dare fucking say that piracy is wrong. Okay, listen, I take the Ross Scott approach to this. I, I say that piracy is alright when it's the only viable option to play a game. Because I know for a fact that you can't get Heretic 2 unless you get it off of secondhand copies of eBay. And there's no like reliable way to yeah. allow you to know if those copies are good. If like the CDs aren't scratched and whatnot. Well, then where do you stand on GOG? I like GOG. I think GOG is a pretty good service. They're, they're, they're pretty good for what they are. Um, but what do you think about GOG releases games that doesn't automatically make, their, make them awesome because they re-released, well, they didn't do it. They, they released on their site, um, Commandos 2. Now, I was a fan of those Commandos games back in the day. Commandos 2, do you know anything about that recent release? I've heard Holy about shit. Commandos. It's the Commando so fucking series. censored. It's so censored. It doesn't even have multiplayer anymore. They stripped all the good shit out. They they stripped out the Nazi logos, of course, the flags, which is legal uh, in Germany now. You can actually have Nazi flags again. Um, they stripped out even the the sunrise, the Japanese fucking lo the sunrise off their um, planes, dude. What, what they fucking just ruined it. They shit all over the game, dude. And 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 it's it's rightly downvoted. It's r rightly has a terrible uh, rating right now on GOG. That's Commandos 2. So what do you suggest? People pay for that? Come on. B gamers deserve that shit in the real fucking uh, original fucking format. Nothing touched. Nothing nothing molested. Keep your hands off of our games, you shit industry. D did you know okay, there's here's... mods that restore that shit? I hope so, but I won't restore yeah. multiplayer, will it? Here's the yeah, but you can okay, restore so here, the old, like console. Wait, pin, hold on. Pin wants to say what's that? You know, you can just add a mod. To support that. Well, multiplayer was a huge. It has co-op, dude. I love co-op. Doom is fucking co-op, and, and I love co-op games. They automatically add a whole bunch of replay value for me personally. I think co-op added to any game automatically makes it better. Um, so you got co-op removed from that version of GOG. I would never give them money. As much as I like GOG, I will not play for a, a pay for a molested version of the game that's stripped down to fucking nothing. It's it's offensive, dude. Who the fuck are these? This company is just shitting all over people. GOG is the only company that I'd be willing to give money to, but they accept and release shit versions of games all the time and it's too bad i wish they had some standards like all right our standard is if we're going to release the game for you you don't fucking put your hand you don't take stuff out of it and because of licensing and shit we lose a lot of crap i don't know if you know that we lose a lot of crap because of licensing shit gets dynamically removed if you pay for a game on steam because of licensing problems 
Okay, well, the GOG version of Doom is actually superior to the Steam version, probably the pirated version, because if you buy Final Doom, you'll get the fixed version of TNT's Map 31, what? instead of having to fix it yourself with what? some sort of iWAD. So, I actually enjoy GOG and its services, and I like that they have the fixed version of TNT on their store. Plus, yeah. you know, I bought... Doom so, one. sometimes well, getting the... Uh, like paid product is sometimes superior than just no, it, pirating. Uh, it. No, it, most of the time, no, it's not. In fact, the Denuvo copy protection fucking adds a lot of problems to the game. It's already been proven several times: hitching, longer load times, just all sorts of stupid shit. I know, but it, yeah, okay. it, it, there's no Denuvo in in, in GOG. Got, well, one one game I did buy on GOG and I recommend it, of course, is Serious Sam: Second Encounter. Even the first encounter is good. But I, I can't. I'm not an expert. I cannot say that it's absolutely perfect. There's probably some nerds out there that have dug deep and maybe found potential issues. But you know, I, I can't study every single game. Uh, but but I like people who do the right thing. I like emulation. I like piracy, and that's the way gamers have always been. You uh, in the '90s, dude. I used to be able to just ask somebody for something and they'd send it to me. These days, people are like, no, no, thanks, bro. I'm good. They don't share anymore. Gamers used to share. They don't do it anymore. It's really fucking weird. I don't get the brains of people. The, the internet is the Wild West, dude. The internet is not FCC regulated. You can actually say fuck, shit, cunt, cot, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits and not get silenced or fined by the FCC. That's the great thing about it. You can swear. You can actually do things. The internet has always been a place to share and distribute things for free and disseminate information for free. But nobody does that anymore. He wants to have a donate button, Patreon, give me money, me, me, me. Who cares about you? How about the game? You know? Nobody does it right. It's really just fucking aggravating. The game does are you not familiar, really. Are you familiar what? with with the concept of, of an open secret? An open secret? An open secret. Something uh, people uh, you don't really talk about, but y you know about it, you know? Yeah. Kind of, uh, at least in the concept, in the context of Doom, anyone can do a video about Doom source ports or whatever and talk about differences or problems. And the, it's not, I don't, at least in the context of Doom, right? I don't really think it's on people like Dwarves to say, hey, you can just pirate the game and, and I'll play do it, it the original way. I'll because, make a video then. Uh, Maybe I'll have to. I'll just hey, say, hey. here's how to do it. Here's the actual answer, the final answer. The internet used to be awesome like that. You type something in and you get the good answer. Now you have to sift through a bunch of bullshit to get the answers, dude. Well, here's That's the why he had the perfect opportunity to do it and he fucking blew it. I'm sorry, Dwarves. Like I said, I say it with great respect. You blew it. Yeah, you you had I the opportunity it. to give people good information and you fucking blew it six ways to sunset. This is why it's an open secret because everyone knows, right? Well, That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows you wink, can just wink. pirate the games. Well, I'm gonna have to start I, saying I, I in my to, videos. I have to say, I have to tell people to acquire it, and well, okay, I, I tell, tell them to acquire it, and I don't tell them how they can acquire it. Oh, see, see, all right, fine, fine. If you if you're scared to tell people how to, what you should do then, it's just a recommendation. You don't have to, of course. I'm not some all powerful being or thing, but my re suggestion is you say. Um, Okay, so here's the BFG version of Doom. Do not get this version. Uh, that's, that's the one with the, um, the the Nerf version. software levels, right? Yeah, I told them okay, not to okay. get the BFG version. It's it, the well. Right. So what you, you should you say is play don't, don't get this. But the, you know the classic Doom wads are, are like like garbage, and that's why you shouldn't play the BFG edition on. Well, no. What you should do is forget about the BFG edition. You suck out the iWad for the BFG edition, and you you import that into Z Doom or Chocolate Doom or whatever, whatever the source port you're going to use. It's say, don't give them money. Just get the iWad and you play it in the real version of Doom, um, in the modified version with the right, you know, the right, uh, the right art and everything like that. Nothing, you know what I mean? Like the the fixed version of it. I, I think it exists. I'm pretty sure somebody did the work already and fixed it all. But maybe you shouldn't have. Maybe you don't have to tell them where to get it. Just tell. Just full stop. Just say, don't even recommend it. Say it's garbage. Don't waste your time. It's better to do this over here. You know, I. That's, that's what, what I, I, I did in my video. I told them to not get the BFG version and to get the. Okay, classic maybe version, you did. Maybe I stopped it a little early. And but, Gog and okay, everywhere else green, on the internet. Once I once I heard green, I went green. <laughs> Are you sure you're not expecting people to say? 
what you want to hear word for word. I, I, I just, can... I would love honesty the way the internet used to be instead of all this tiptoeing, fucking walking on broken glass bullshit. You know, I Man. bought I bought the Switch versions of Doom One and Two because. Oh God. Because personally, I'd rather play oh, Doom God. while I'm taking a fat, mean shit. No, I linked yeah. it earlier. Didn't you see? How, uh, how the fuck am I gonna play Doom on the toilet? Do I bring my fucking massive gamer computer with me to the toilet and just shit? Well, Doom's on mobile. Well, that too, but the mobile shit. Yeah, fair enough. D did you see what I posted earlier about Doom on the Switch? Because it's, it's actually gone better for like a patch or so. Hold on, I posted it earlier. God damn it, where the fuck is it? I mean, if you really want to get into, like, shit ports, you can look at the, um, Doom Eternal port of, like... Well, oh, I know where it is. Yeah. That, that's a really shit port, but it's more of a case oh, I, I want to ask you something, though. We like, yes, you can do that. You gotta take into account that, you know, id Software basically ported Doom inside of id Software id, id Tekken and managed to do it. Hold on, I, I want your opinion on this right here. So this is my friend Dirthead. He has a PhD in gaming. He said, I can play Doom Letterbox on a fucking Switch and pay $60 for the privilege, or fucking or, I can pay nothing and play it at 144 hertz at 3840 by 1440 with no pillar boxing. The what the f PhD. ever, whatever the fuck will I do? Huh? Why would you choose the worst one? What is right. wrong with right. you? Right. Are you a flat right. earther? Come on, dude. Tell me the truth. Are, do you All think right. the earth is flat? Don't be a psycho. Take the best version for okay, free! Question, you question, nutcases! Question. What happened to how gamers? Much, gamers used to have testicles! Okay. How much are, are those monitors, those ultra-wide monitors? How much are those? No, he does have a PhD, I'm telling you. I'm not even how, being facetious how, how, how right how now. The guy monitors? literally has a PhD. I thought I knew a lot about video games until I met this dude. It's it's incredible, actually. But How, how much money are those ultra-wide monitors? How much money? I paid 1700 for mine. Exactly. So That's what you don't are you poor? You walk around in a wooden barrel, you're unemployed, unemployable? Is that why you beg for money on YouTube with your Patreon links? Come on guys, get a job, straighten it up, adjust your tie, tuck in your shirt, and go do what you gotta do to play games. <laughs> but I'm still in high school. First, what the first fuck, man? It's like, what happened to gamers, man? They used to have high standards. Now your guys' stand- I'm not saying you guys, but gamer standards are abysmally low. They accept low resolution 640 uh, Red, De Red, uh, Red Dead Redemption with its like seven milliseconds of input lag or higher or something like that. Something insane. And they're just like, yeah, it's cool, bro. I play games to pass time between bong hits. What the fuck is with you guys? Where's your... F <laughs> you guys, you gamers used to have high standards. It's not 17,000. It's 1,700. And then, then this guy, your, your fucking guy here, wants to report me because I'm abrasive. He thinks I should be banned from the internet because I'm an abrasive person. This guy, this Green Cross Army, lower than whale dung, dude. Really, you're a butt log with legs. You really should be ashamed of yourself. You're a smoldering butt log, dude. Reporting people because you don't like them personally. There's a lot of people that I don't like. I don't try to silence them. How has your head not exploded yet? Ultra-wide monitors and... Well, I guess if you're not passionate, I mean, I am. I know maybe you never met a passionate gamer before, but good evening. I'm Painbow. Good evening. I'm, I'm passionate. I consume products. I spend lots of money. Well, gaming is in a rut right now. There's really, I mean, what? What is there? There's nothing. It's 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 gone to hell in a handcart, dude. I wish it's really depressing because I've been gaming since 1984, and I'm fucking depressed. The golden age of gaming was 1996. Period. There were so many AAA quality games released in that year, there wasn't enough time to play it in the day. There wasn't. But, but ultra-wide monitors didn't exist. I'm not saying that ultra-wide monitors are the end-all, be-all, dude. Plus, But you know, it, it is it is unique. It is, um, it's, it's a novelty, really. I'm not saying it's a requirement. It's a novelty. It's an expensive-ass novelty. Yeah, it's listen. It's not really. Um, dude, it's, dude you're, you want to know it's expensive? I started getting into guns lately. That's expensive. That's a. I spent like four thousand dollars just in the last year on guns. Okay. Well, listen, well, let's there, that's an expensive hobby. Don't get into they, guns, guys. It's expensive. They let you. They let you buy firearms. Yeah, listen, yeah. Well, friend, guess what? I listen. have a permit to carry too. I'm the most mentally healthy person you'll ever speak with. Don't condescend to me, <laughs> you fetid fillet of fuck. 
do 40% of Americans deny evolution, 75% believe in the paranormal. If I'm nuts, I hope I die from what I've got. Jesus. Look, most people are mentally unstable. You got it backwards, dude. I'm healthy. I'm well-adjusted, mentally stable, and healthy. Just because I'm passionate doesn't mean I want to hurt anybody. Boy, you gotta, we, you, whatever. Oh, so I gotta be monotone. I gotta be. Hey, LMTT. Do you wanna play serious, Sam? Oh, Why? Because I'm not monotone. I actually inflect. I'm a nutcase. What does Tom Real Jones say uh, at the beginning of No Country for Old Men? He said it was a crime of passion. Yeah. Well, look, I'm not. I'm not calling for violence. You guys don't deserve to get silenced. You don't deserve to get banned. I just want gamers to fucking step up to the plate, raise their standards, and stop bending over for the shit. Pirate it. If it's good, pay for it. If you don't know how to pirate, I'll help you. No. They call me Pirate Painbow, dude. No, if you actually looked up in general, you can notice I have a shit ton of box. The majority of those, I pirated, but soon bought it off of eBay because I actually wanted to own it. Because I. Hey, uh, this is really going to piss uh, LMCTF here. That's me carrying a handgun at work. It's legal where I am. I have a permit, so I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, dude, but hey, that's a big holster, dude. That's a big holster. Who asked above? But but don't get into that. You think gaming is expensive? Gaming is fucking cheap, dude. CPUs are cheap. Video cards are fairly cheap. Monitors, good ones, can get expensive, but t less than $2,000, that's really nothing. That's a drop in the bucket. I mean, if you're working at McDonald's, fine, maybe. Dude, in the 90s, I was unemployed, and I didn't have a job, and I somehow afforded a Sega Saturn, a Sony PlayStation. I afforded all this shit, like, almost right when it came out. Funko Land. Ever heard of Funko Land before? Okay, yeah, I've heard of Funko Land. I've heard of Electronics Boutique. I've Good. heard of EB Games. Good. Well, there's my receipt from Funko Land for the PlayStation 1. Not that I'm some hot shit or anything, but you can see the date. 11 95 is when I bought the PlayStation 1. I finally bent over... And bought one. And for some reason, I got a Game Informer subscription, too. I met the guys at Game Informer, not, not that I'm some badass or anything. But I've, been, I've had my foot in the door, dude. I've, I've been around. I've seen it all. I've seen all the games. I just wish people would get it straight the way they used to on the internet. They don't do it anymore. They're all wrong. All these YouTubers, just bad information. Almost, I can't stand behind almost any YouTuber. There's almost no YouTuber I can actually get behind. It, Dwarves came so close to come to the edge and doing the right thing, but then he fucking pulled back. And he's like, well, I wish it'd be green. It's better than the pill. Yeah, okay, you're right, but it's still not good enough. You know, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it, it isn't good enough. To, and well, you didn't say that. Well, I told people to buy or get the uh, versions that don't How have come the you didn't pill say, bull crap. All right, here's a good point. Why didn't you say anything about the fucking stupid, uh, offensive uh, Red Cross having their logo in Hollywood movies, but trying to get it removed from games. How fucking dare they? So it's okay to self-promote in movies, but we can't fucking have a, a cross in video games? These scumbags, dude, they deserve, they deserve this shit. I they deserve you... uh, hostility from gamers, dude. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not siding with the Red Cross or anything, but they do have this ability to like enforce their trademark which is I'd like to see them try really BS oh man I, I will post it on Twitter which I'm banned from too because I'm honest I'll get a new Twitter account and I'll post it right to the Red Cross and say hey Red Cross I put the Red Cross back in doom what are you gonna do about it fags and you know what they're not gonna do shit because that's how much power you have on the internet you fucking tell these companies to go suck you say suck it sideways you know bend down squat and you know what to do. Okay, Tell these companies the to Cross, sit on your cock and rotabulate. The Red Cross isn't going to do crap to you if exactly. you put the Red so don't Cross don't fucking kowtow on, to them, dude. Don't be boss. afraid about... But when you sell afraid. a product with the Red Cross on it, that's when they decide well, to get really Who's selling? Nobody. It. Are you selling something? I'm not. I'm a gamer. I, I consume these games. I don't sell them. I, yeah. I will fix them if well, I have to. Well, the people who make the games sell them. So, so? that's why they You're can't You're going to do the right thing and fix it. Crap. Well, well, well yeah, you, 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 you can you can put it in. You can put yeah. you can put it in yourself, and there's ways to do that. Dude, do you realize? Do you know anything about Mame? What is I Mame? I know you about know? Mame. I know okay. it's an arcade. Do you know what those guys simulator. do? Do you know what they do? They spend real money to purchase expensive arcade boards on eBay, and they fight the Japanese collectors 
people who don't want you getting the ROMs, don't want the games being emulated, so they spend lots and lots of money to get these rare games, and what do they do? They dump them and they release them for free. They don't ask anything in return. They do the right thing. That is what gamers do. They share. So they're doing this, and they're not bending over. They're not saying, oh, well, Capcom doesn't want us to emulate this, so we're not going to... They don't do that shit. They fucking do it. They don't give a shit. And that's the way you're supposed to think. Think like okay. those guys, dude. Well, they're they're not they're not YouTubers who have to follow this like strict. So, oh, so that's what it is. So that's what it is. Economy. You put YouTube fucking, you put your YouTube personality above being a gamer. Right there, you just blew it. You just put your foot in your mouth, dude. You just said that YouTube is more important than you than video games. How dare you call yourself a gamer? <laughs> gamers rise up. We really do live in this society. I'm being dead serious right now. When YouTubers care more about money than they do about video games, they're fucking shills and they blew it. Actually, uh, here here's your uh, fucking herring though. Uh, YouTube doesn't pay as much money to like YouTubers. Yeah, I, I make YouTube videos too. So, I know so, all about so, it. So, Some of my so, videos are monetized. I don't do it for money though. I make videos to tell the truth and disseminate good information to people. Insight, and I will not hold back on anything. By the way, I also bought Doom sixty four on the Switch. You oh, fucking cockstraddle! Oh god, I hate you. Oh, baby. Oh, I love sucking cock. Thank you. I played Doom 64. I remember the Game Fan magazine that had Doom 64 screenshots. I remember that vividly. I was I was zooming in with my eyeballs trying to get some high resolution screenshots Hold on. from Game Fan. I also own Doom 64 on as a cartridge too. It's just I wanted to own Doom 64 on the Switch because I want to shit while I'm playing Doom 64. <laughs> Man, I never did that in my life. I've owned the Atari Lynx. I've owned, owned the Turbo Express. I've owned the Game Gear. I've owned Game Boy, of course. And I never had the idea to bring it to the bathroom. Jesus. Talk about disrespect. Maybe yeah, let's, uh, let's get some turd fucking uh, follicles right into the, the, into the battery section. of our What are you doing, dude? No respect. Do you respect video games? How does that happen? And do you shit on the fuck Game Boy? What the hell, dude? I don't know, man. I <laughs> I yes, eat a lot of burritos. I I I, 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 fling, I fling shit at game. I just I take a shit. See here, here's why I'm a gamer, and I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm better than you, but I, my shits are like three minutes, and then I get the fuck out and get back to gaming. I don't want to sit in there. What the fuck? What a boring. What, what, you take well, your time. What if, what, if, what if I actually have an upset stomach and I have like multiple times of having wet shit flow, flow out? Stop! My head. Stop drinking your dinner then. Stop smoking your breakfast. I'm joking around. I'm just gi I'm just giving you some uh, good-natured ribbing. No, I I'm serious. Like my friend Dirthead, I put that screenshot up of. I'm gonna have to talk to him today and see what he says about your video. I'll link it to him. Oh. Wait. And I want to see what he says about it because I I <laughs> bet he just like I did. I bet he would get pissed. He's gonna get pissed. In fact, I almost want to record his reaction because he's. I could just tell, dude. I've never seen a YouTuber get it right. If you want some actual insight from us, I'll be willing to come back here and tell you what the answer is. You can make a YouTube video about it, but I'll tell you what sure. the answers are. You say I'm this, sure you do this, you recommend this, whatever. That's they the way you people, fucking uh, do it, man. You got YouTubers should have insight. They should have more information than the average person. They're getting they're trying to get paid for this shit. All right, that's the whole point of my source porch video. I recommended people to not get the BFG edition. I told them to get the uh, Steam and GOG versions, or acquire it by other means. Steam. And yes, Steam. <sighs> Aren't all Steam popular. games DRM ridden? Just a great Satan. Yes, uh, Steam yeah. itself well, is technically like... DRM, but you don't need you don't need to run it through Steam. You can actually just take the iWads from the Steam version yeah. and run them through another source port. Well, what, 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 hey, what I remember I think, when Doom uh, Collection came out. What was that? Was that 2003 or 2004? That that blue box, Doom Collection? 2001. Was it that? The, oh, man, shit, that's older than I thought. So I bought that, and the first thing I did, I didn't install it. I ripped it, and I uploaded it on the internet, the, the ISO of it, because that's the right thing to do. Uh, maybe, I'm just, maybe I'm just too altruistic. Not autistic. I'm altruistic. Okay. I know the difference. Can I yeah, very funny, guys. These guys were right. calling me autistic, slope forehead. They were calling me troglodyte. They were telling me that I'm as dumb as a handful of Georgia clay, twice as ugly. Yet they realize probably now that I'm actually articulate and know what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, See why uh, I like voice? Voice be is so honest, much better than like you have terminal micro penis. What? what? <laughs> hey, I get more ass on a rental car, mister. You better smile when you said that to me. 
Hello. Are you smiling? Ask you something. Hey, Brackish, are you smiling? By the way, is your name Brackish from that Kitty song? Oh, God. Shacket. The fuck are that you song talking blue. about? Why, why that song blue. That song blue. All sorts of primate hosts. I mean... I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, there's a there's a song called Brackish by the band Kitty. Never mind. Forget That's... it. You also realize Brackish is relatively old, too? Yeah, I, I understand. Hey, hey Brackish, I bet the last time you know. squatted, it wasn't over porcelain. It, it, it kind of, it kind of make, it's kind of funny, because Brackish... What, you don't slob squat? Than oh, yeah. Whatever the fuck yeah. Is. Brackish here, subscribe to Pole Smoke Weekly. We're no, it's so fine. You can flush me across uh, Green Cross. You can flush me like the turd that I am. So Listen, my you... dude. The, the Green Cross is crap doesn't matter. I mean, I said that because it's the only way that they that the publishers would make an official release of Doom for purchase. Now, you don't have to purchase that version at all. You can just go on the internet and, and uh, get the other versions, whether it's through Steam or GOG or other means, like I said. But if they're going to re-release these new versions on the Switch, on the PC, on the PS4, on all the these other consoles, like they're gonna have to like make these like stupid compromises. But of course, the best version is always is always the available. The original remakes generally suck. I don't know if you guys know this, but let me give you the news: remakes, video game remakes and shit, generally suck. There's only two I can think of in the history of video games, and I'm going all the way back to the early 80s now, two remakes in the history of video games that were actually better than the originals in every way. Can you think of one? I mean, I really like the Wind Waker remake. Re Speak up, man, and uh, I can't hear you. Oh, uh, remember Legend of Zelda Wind Waker? There's like a, a remaster or nope, something. wrong answer. He's got it wrong. Let me give you the okay. Let me give you one of them. Super Mario All Stars for the Super Nintendo was a straight upgrade all the way across. Almost every other remake has some sort of trade off. Something's wrong. Something doesn't look right. I can't stand remakes, dude. It's just a rehash, redacted, out of ideas industry, dude. I'm tired of it. I want good new games. What's your opinion on Doom 2016 and the Doom Eternal? Doom Eternal blows. Um, I actually made a video. You know that G Man on YouTube, G G G Man. That guy was shilling for Doom Eternal. I told him he was shilling for it. It was he was being so soft on it. I actually had to make a video because that asshole wouldn't talk to me like most YouTubers. And so I told him to stop shilling for it. He's being paid to say that it was good, and he was being paid to hype it up. That's why there's no such thing as gaming journalism, dude. I can't trust these guys. These guys are being paid to fucking say the shit and promote bad games. So I said it was going to be crap, and sure enough, after it comes out, finally people are starting to realizing it's crap. Um, I didn't play Doom 6 2016. However, my friend did, and he basically said it's all right. It's not terrible. However, to me, dude, it's well, not well, Doom without co-op. question on how it's not Doom without co-op. I need my co-op, dude. I played. Do you know how much fucking PlayStation Doom I played? PlayStation had Link Up Doom. You could link two PlayStation together and play co-op and deathmatch. It was fucking glorious. It wasn't honestly, the PC, but it was a cheaper version of way to do it. Honestly, I really have to agree at this point because the majority of new game engines are really fucking garbage and don't give you the ability to mod or play games on co-op. Like, that's what I love about older games, that you can play them on co-op. That you can play what? And, and co-op together with other people. Because yeah. the newer game engines simply don't allow that anymore. They don't even I, I allow know. you modding. What made, I, I really like Doom as like the idea that you have like a newer version of the game is really fun and everything but it really pissed me off because everything I liked about Doom, about, especially about the early games where that you can mod it and they completely removed it. They have like a shitty map editor but who, won't, who cares about it honestly? Look at that, you cannot find that image on Google dude. I, I saved it though. Uh, somebody I knew had that Dwango postcard there. That was Dwango, that was a big deathmatch promotional uh, like uh, tournament. And uh, I got the both sides of the pictures there. It's pretty fucking awesome. You're welcome. That's an exclusive from Painbow right there. Yeah. But yeah, pretty, dude, I agree. Uh, the the whole idea about TCP IP direct connect, uh, being able to cr connect to people without uh, DRM verification, always online, stupid bullshit. I I'm really tired of all that crap. I want gamers, at least the games that we do have. And there are game websites. I don't I don't know if you ever heard of them, but there's um. Um, Hidden Palace, and I know that doesn't sound like a good website, but believe me, dude, those guys release prototypes of games, and um, they just they just release it. They don't ask for anything in return, and there's like they get leaked, and there you go, you can go fucking get them. Uh, also, I think they have a Twitter account which they show they release like the uh, source. 
the source code for a lot of games that just random games, whether it's uh, Monopoly for the PC, all this shit that that just gets released, dude. And I wish, I wish uh, people like valued that crap, you know, because I like when that kind of crap gets released. That's when we actually, as gamers, own the games, and that's what I wish GOG would start doing instead of just re you know repackaging and fixing up to make work on modern computers. I wish they would also include the source, you know, for the games, because then we as gamers actually own them. But until that happens, we really don't. We're just going to keep paying for the same games over and over again. Even if they don't have DRM, that's good, but it's still not the source. I think only developers can do that. Yeah, I know, but if we have to but do some Mission Impossible shit, where you, where you sneak in the company, slide down on a rope, you know what I'm saying? Get your hand, you know? Come on, man. It's not always possible like that though, because first of all, okay, some games have sources which have been kind of lost because the fucking people were too autistic. I know, to actually you're right. keep the sources. And mm -hmm. the other thing is, um, depending on what kind of game you're playing, let's say you have something like Super Smash for, let's just say Super Smash Brawl as an example. There's so many fucking characters in there. It would be a fucking massacre to get the copyright all together for that. that I mean, yeah. I, I get your point, but it's not always possible, sadly. Yeah. Sometimes there's some games that I I've, I own myself where, you know, they're uploaded on something like my abandoned where, but they don't have the manuals, or anything. so I have to go out my own way to hunt down the actual copy of the game, which can cost upwards to forty to fifty dollars, and actually scan the manual for, which is is a pain in the ass, mind you, but the realization of being the first to actually upload like documents and whatnot that haven't been seen knows how long it's so much better than pirating games and just doing nothing it's better than pirating what's better than pirating i'm sorry i was looking for something here um i, I just you know i don't make enough video but videos about this i almost don't make videos at all about it but i I'm thinking about doing it now because it's like I have to re-educate gamers. It's like, you guys seem to understand some of the basics, but I think that more people should be putting their foot down and not accepting bull crap. Like, no compromises, basically. I'm not, uh, it's just, it's a form of art. It's sort of like, if it's, it's similar to the to, to music. Like, you could go to Spotify or you could go to some website and pay for an album, but are you getting the best version of that album? Probably not. You're probably paying for an inferior version. What I mean is, is that, for example, if you guys know anything about, for example, uh, Soundgarden, Chris Cornell, Audio Slave, that guy, who recently died not too long ago. Well, he had a, he had that album, um, Super Unknown. It came out in 1994. The best version of that is not the CD. Good. It's album. not the vinyl. It's not it's not the U.S. vinyl. It's the 2004 German vinyl. That's the best version of that album. It's the best sounding. Why? Well, because it's the only version that used the original analog sa uh, the analog tapes. So if you want to pay money, that's the one you should pay your money at. But it's hard to get that 2004 vinyl. It's not like you could just go download it. Well, you can if you know someone like me, because I have the vinyl rips. Yeah, I share too. Wink, wink. I think people deserve the best version of whatever they buy. But there's so many versions of everything, so many versions of games, so many versions of albums, so many different versions of movies, even TV shows. Some TV shows have the original music in their TV show. Some have it stripped out and replaced with other shit because of licensing. And I, you know, people crave the original versions. Star Wars, the original Star Wars from 1977. People want the best version. Well, you can't go buy the best DVD or Blu-ray of it because Lucas screwed it all up, right? You got to get the, the, the fan-made version of it, which is the best version. I think it's okay. called Harmony's... Well, back yeah. on the topic of Doom, the best yes. version is, as once again, it's still on Steam. It's still on GOG. It's still, like, everywhere around the internet. And for free, you can, you can acquire it by any means you you, you deem fit. And I'm not if saying that Doom you can't. All, I don't think you should. The game came out in 1993. I have the original box behind me, the one that you could that you got when you actually had to call and order it. I have the original box. I have two unopened copies of Jaguar Doom. Not that it's good. I have multiple versions of Doom behind me here. Uh, I love Doom. I, I think it's great. And um, do you I, own the I, SNES I, version? The what version? The SNES version. No, the one with the Super FX chip. No, I don't, and I would never own oh it. Oh my god! I, I own two copies of it. One box. Oh, get it away from me! I will punk okay. that shit. Into... Yeah. Do you know? Uh, do you know Super Noah's Ark? Super who? 
Super Noah's Ark. It's like a SNES game. It oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like one of those blue cartridges or something, isn't it? Yeah, but listen, the, the most amazing thing about this, did you know that actually when you buy this game on Steam, you get the uh, ROM of the game? Well, that's good. But some, some ROMs of games that you buy are, are pretty crappy, like Aladdin. It's the, you get the PC version, you don't get the Genesis version of Aladdin. There's a lot of garbage out there. You know, that's the thing we try to clear up. Me and my friend, we try to clear that in, up with people. It's like, don't waste your money on garbage ports. A lot of these are just garbage and inferior. It's like, if you want to play Night Warriors, which is another Capcom game, what? you don't want to play the Saturn version. It's missing animations. Hi. Hi, guys. Gamers don't like missing animations. You play the f arcade version, the ROM, Wait. MAME Wait. version. Wait a minute. You were talking about preservation and all that, yet yeah. you will, you'll turn away games that are inferior, even though they're, yeah. car they're kind of like needed for like preservation. Yes. That's not a contradiction. It's fine to preserve games, but if you're going to actually play, why wouldn't you play the best version? They're all free anyway. Careful. Careful. I don't know if that's true, Dursley. I don't know if that's actually scientifically accurate. Now, as Carl Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So be careful. Oh, wait. You guys don't know Carl Sagan. That was before your time. Well, I know what Carl Sagan is. All right. Well, you're talking to you're talking to scientifically minded person. I, I'm a gamer who's scientifically minded. I know it's rare. You're I do get nostalgic. I get nostalgic about shit too. Where's I, your PhD, Bucko? Oh, you oh you want to question me, punk? You want to question me, punk? <laughs> he wants your pretty hot dick, dude. Oh my god, that's probably gay. the most intellectual shit ever. It's 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 on par to something like Carl Sagan. But all right, there it is. Pickle, yeah, paintball. Wii U Technical it's, University. It's, Suck it, bitch. Oh. Three points, score it. We'll take a timeout for halftime. The reason, the reason why... Uh, Rick oh, clang, is swish. ...is to get away from the horrors of life. By nice Photoshop. I beg your pardon. How dare you? Just I because it says painbow doesn't mean it's not genuine. Einstein would shove the pickle up his ass. <laughs> you guys are funny, aren't you? Brackish here. Brackish here sounds like the type of guy that tries... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to... I'm going to be nice. I'm going to try to be nice. Oh, uh, no. I thought you were honest. I am, but I'm trying to be delicate here. I know Dwarves, he's got, he's got his hand... I can see him. He's, his hand has hovered over the band button. He wants to just hear the toilet flush. I mean, there's an art boomer who's also... In a little bit... So, so has anybody here been gaming as long as I have? Not that I, I'm not saying that means anything, but 1984, has anybody been? That guy, oh man, Linus, fuck that guy. That's another guy who fucking spreads misinformation. Here's the, here's the, the Linus destruction video by my friend. Dude, absolute I, I honestly, destruction. Linus is such a funny guy just because of the amount of autism they're spreading at some points. Like, Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, the guy made a video about um, playing MAME games uh, on your computer, and literally everything he fucking said in it was wrong. So oh, I yeah, just I gave you... That. Yeah, well, I, my friend destroyed that motherfucker in that video right there. He called it composite. Because Linus, he, it's, it's composite. That's the word, composite. But the idiot says composite. Honestly, you can't fucking blame him. He's Canadian. Give, a, give him a break. No, that's not why. The guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He tells you to buy used joysticks. He tells you to use S-Video, which means you're locked at 640 by 480 interlaced. What the... Who the fuck would ever recommend that? He's an idiot. So my friend fucking destroyed that son of a bitch. I hate all you... I'm sorry, most YouTubers are dumb. They get it wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. There's a lot of ignorance. And I'm not necessarily blaming people, but... If you're a YouTuber and you have a donate button, you're doing it for money, you really should know more than the average person. You really should do your research. This is called retro gaming for a reason. The information is already out there. There's no excuse to get it wrong. So I, I came at Dwarves, you know, pretty damn neutral. And I started getting insulted, which is why I started defending myself. Because I'm not going to take insults with a smile. You know, so... Yeah, okay. yeah, you got it. Yeah, well, listen... The, the abrasive uh, personality is a little off-putting to everyone here, so it's no surprise that they would, like, be abrasive in return. Well, how can I be nice, really? If you think about it from my perspective, seeing gaming just get flushed, getting disrespected, getting shit on by everybody... Because okay. nobody... Because not everyone <laughs> wants to pirate games, okay? Are, are, not not are everyone... laughing at me. Question. Question. Are you... I don't I like it when women laugh at me. 
Are you telling me? Are you <laughs> telling all of us that gamers should take the gaming equivalent of a red pill? Of a what? A red pill. You know the red pill. Red pill? Yeah. No, I'm. I'm not. Well, like, I, basic shit that I used to think was common knowledge. Like, you go to a friend's house and you just play games. You don't charge the money to come over and play games with you. You know. Okay, you don't we don't. We don't do that. Well, Patreon. Not, that's what Patreon's doing. That. doing? Well, it's, it's, you don't have to use Patreon in order to watch someone's content. You only do so that you if you want to support them. That I wrote. You disagree with what I wrote about that, Patreon. I mean, when I say fans I... are supposed to make game-related content out of love and passion, not money, you think that's bullshit? No, that, you, look, you kind of have well, a point. Of course, the people can is, make of course games. people are gonna make money uh, of All something right, other people like. But I, well, I, see, I when, when they make these videos and they, all they do is mislead people with their bad information, okay, it makes okay, me yeah. doubly pissed. Okay, I'm I mean, what, what, I what, one thing to okay, say. let's imagine he's not chilling. Like any of these YouTubers who say Doom Eternal was genuinely good. What if they're not chilling? What if they just genuinely enjoyed the game for being different? No, it's fine. It's like if, if you're a guy who makes YouTube videos about Justin Bieber as if he's the best musician ever, you can say that. You're not breaking any laws. But intelligent people who know what they're doing will stay far away from you because they can't trust you. I think it's fine to have wrong opinions, but a, like nostalgic shit. Yeah, yeah, it's a problem. I get nostalgic about old bad games too. Sometimes that I used to play, I played pretty much every fucking game from sixteen to thirty-two bit at least. I even owned a fucking Jaguar, dude. What the fuck was I thinking? A Jaguar. I owned a TurboGrafx CD with it came from the desert. Jesus, what a. What was I thinking, dude? There's a lot of crap out there. Luckily, I can admit that I never owned a Virtual Boy. I never stooped that low. Okay, well, listen. Like I said, nobody has to use Patreon. Nobody has to, like, donate to anything. It's never necessary, but it's always appreciated. That's what I always say at the no, end of my what videos. What you should say, if you're... What you should say is say, don't give me money. Who the hell am I? I'm just some turd. You should give money to the people who I don't know, dump ROMs and get games emulated for free. I mean, if you're going to spend money on having to do with game-related stuff, they don't even ask for it. They're not even no, aggressive pinball. with it. Okay. I, I have yeah, to disagree see, with you, I, Luke. I, you've just uh, revealed the, the, the unconscious part of it, all right? What's there's, that? there's something you were, you were repressing. You said, don't give me money. Give the people who dump the ROMs money and yeah. all that. Is this what this is about? No, I'm, I'm just a big mouth on YouTube too, but I don't ask people. In fact, I say don't like, don't subscribe, and get out of my life. That's what I say to people. I don't, okay, I don't want it to be about me. I never do. But a lot of big mouth, you, big headed YouTubers, ego cases, want it to be about them. It really should be about the video games, not them. Uh, but that's okay. fine. Like I said, I appreciate that he made a video about that subject because I don't see it that often. Um, so that's, that's good. But again, he, he blew it. I said, that's what I, that's the only reason I wanted to talk to him. I, I just said that he blew it. He, I wish he could, he had the opportunity to do it, but he didn't take it. And uh, gamers are just so fed, feckless and, you know, facile. And they're just kind of like, it, it kind of floating in the air. Yeah, I don't know. I want to hear some steadfast, hard fucking, um, commentary on this shit, like unacceptable version, something like that. That's pretty much what I said. I said the BFG edition sucks. Go buy, go get the Steam GOG, whatever versions you you want. Okay, yeah. that's what I've been trying to say for the past like no, what it's, fifty it's, minutes. Right. Yeah, that's fine. You don't have to hang around here, dude. You can hang up on me. I don't. I, I don't want to suck up your whole day. But I'm just. I don't know. That stuff should be freely built. I, in fact, it almost makes me want to make a follow-up video to yours. Not that I'm trying to steal your thunder. Again, I'm not trying to become popular on YouTube. But I just want the information to be clear. I want, I want. okay, you know, here's what Dwarves said. He's right in the most part, except he blew it here. And let me give you the answers. It's down in the description. Here's the links to everything. You push this button and you're fucking playing. People, you got to think about the lowest common denominator on YouTube. You got to you gotta think that the people watching your videos... Don't know, don't even, never even heard of the game Doom before. That's the way you have to look at it. Everybody says that. You, you should know that. Lowest common denominator. So you can't assume that people already know any of this information you're, you're spewing out. So you have I to know, really that's think. Why, that's, why I'm, that's why I made that video. I made that video to tell people yeah. all about the source ports that were available, especially right, the big fine. ones. And I told them all about the source ports. I may have made a few love ups here and there with certain source ports. And I know I said, that I didn't like the BFG edition, and I said something about green crosses on the med kits, uh, how I rather prefer that, but in all honesty, I said that 
the BFG edition is inferior in all ways, and you should get the original versions. And I made that pretty clear when I said all that crap I said about the BFG edition. I'm glad you mentioned the audio. Uh, you were talking about the pitch going up and down, something like that. Uh, that's good because I even I didn't know that because I'm I don't play every version of Doom anymore. I haven't you uh, know. Doom version one point two had a pitch had a, a pitch problem, but the thing is that was actually slightly but was actually taken out in later versions. Yeah, oh, yeah I, I, when I remember hearing that, that was, uh, the sound of it was horrible. I'm happy that they removed it. Yeah, it was in the older versions. It was in pre-1.2 stuff, and the pitch shifting was there back in the day, but it wasn't as ridiculous as it was in the BFG edition. It, it was logical, like the pit pitch shifting in the bfg edition you get this like screwed up super shotgun noise due to the sample rate being screwed up and it's really bad so so what do you think about what my friend said there about um he said fucking gamers code it happened again mortal kombat 9 had a dlc freddy krueger character they lost the license this year for it so mortal kombat 9 was removed from steam just fucking wait in a few months you'll see some neutered version appear without him fuck you we're sick of shit like that, and gamers just yeah, oh, that's cool, bro. It, it's really annoying. I agree with shit like this is so fucking annoying. When I buy a game, I want to keep the fucking game and don't want to have that's it removed. That's piracy, stuff. dude. Fucking piracy. No, 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 no. But the thing is, I mean, uh, isn't it like when you when you buy the game, you keep getting uh, you keep the game at least because from whatever. No, no. Apparently, shit has been game. removed from people's hard drives. In fact, yeah. Can, in fact, with Doom Eternal. That? Can you show me that? Can yes, Doom that? Eternal. Doom that. Eternal. There was a there was an EXE, an executable file that came with Doom Eternal on launch day that did not have Denuvo in it at all. It was yeah, I heard it, of that. Right, yeah, and then a patch came out and mysteriously it disappeared off people's hard drives. Fuck you, industry. Fuck but you. No, but because look, at the, they didn't want to release that in the first place. There's like a difference in there. So They're like you, you can you can't just really say, oh yeah, they removed it. It wasn't meant to be in the first place. They I don't care. I don't edit. care if it was meant to be. Give gamers power. Give give consumers the power to own their games, I and mean, play heterosexual that, versions of their games. I mean, I totally <laughs> what I usually do is look. The Nova is a piece of fucking garbage, and I think everyone. Yes, who's in and people are having shot. They're having shotgun problems now. Another patch came out too. People are having trouble with the shotgun right now, and lots of other issues. And people yeah, who have the original unmolested new. version of the EXE, no problems. If, if you are if you are a person who has like Sammy and has like an idea what they're doing, they will wait to they fucking uh, to the game. Uh, I love piracy. They removed the Nova because they removed the Nova at some point. Anyway. Game companies constantly shit on. They don't give a shit about us at all. It's been yeah, years they since they gave do. a shit. No, they're, they're the, charging the people for dedicated do. servers now. They're charging us to see scoreboards. Who the fuck do they think they are, man? Oh, do you remember Quake Life when they did that? When they were of starting, like, oh yeah, we remember Quake. We, we do Quake Life, but you have to buy the server. I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I want to host my own. Server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I remember GameSpy. I remember Cali. Yep. I remember Wish. Cali. I remember GameSpy. I, I remember the All Seeing Eye. I remember server browsers, which we used to find our games. Oh yeah, yeah that was good times. Game and that's the way I, you know, I'm tired of these game companies, dude. So if they make a what quote a mistake and release a fucking um. Uh, copyright protection free executable you're damn right i'm gonna get pissed when they try to fucking take that away and i'm gonna try my best to get that information out to people who don't know about it no honestly the hey thing is, is that commandos I, that looks like I, commandos i, I agree no, on you cracking the thing is okay look i think it's not good to crack games generally if you want oh, to play one, them for yeah. free postal one if you yeah. if you want to play them for free but if you bought the game and you feel like okay the fucking um DRM is fucking up my everything, then I think it's fine if you bought the cram and then you start cracking it. Like, that's, I think that's totally fine, but just cracking games because they have DRM and you can't play them, it's not really good. It is good, though. Only when you bought the game beforehand, then I agree. Otherwise, no, not. no, because, no, because how many times have you went and bought it in the 90s? Well, maybe you weren't alive then, but you'd go buy a CD thinking that, you know, there were some good songs on it. Turns out there was one good song and the rest blue, and you feel ripped off. I think you should be able to experience the whole fucking thing. You know? Deserve the whole thing. Don't were you alive when Napster came out, dude? I'm telling you, nuns. Nuns at the church were pirating MP3s. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Every, dude, that's I'm... a natural thing, is to share. Humans have been sharing yeah. since the origin of civilization. And seeing so many people against that whole idea now is just blows my mind. I look like Jack, that Jackie Chan meme with my hands in there, like, what the fuck is with people? Yeah, I get what you mean. 
I, I, I'm, I'm 20. I think I'm a bit too young to understand that because yeah. I, don't know, I haven't been really alive on the night. It's 90s. not your fault. But Luckily, I, you have I, a brain I mean, and you can learn, though. I, I really love old PC games because they don't have all that DRM bullshit. Because when I was when I was younger, I started. <laughs> you uh, own it. A friend of mine gave me um, a CD with the emul emulators and games on them. So I started playing that and I totally got into old games. I was like, what the fuck are people doing these days? Like, new games are so fucking garbage. They require logins, DRM. Who fucking yep. needs that? Honestly, you're right. You just want to play a fucking it. game. And and gamers never like NASCAR games, and the only reason we'd play them was to crash like that. Of course. Do big jumps, crash, have fun, hack your games. But these days, you try to hack your game, you fuck around a little bit, you you mod it in some way, you get banned. They try to take the yeah. game away from you. Who I the really fuck did like this that. game company think they are? Fuck them. Rockstar. Yeah, ban you. Uh, Rockstar is exactly what I think. Like Rockstar is pr pretty much the example. Like people tried to mod the game, and people were getting banned left and right. Even I, I think that's bullshit. Much. I'll tell you yeah. what, if I owned the game industry, dude, I'd allow people to say the N-word to each other. I would allow it in the game because <laughs> it never killed anybody. It never Whoa. killed anybody. Whoa, I, dude, man. I lived during Quake 1 and 2. I talked, I've seen that people talked. I didn't die. I'm still alive. I'm still here. Because I, I wouldn't from fucking take people's bit, games away from them for, for talking. <coughs> What'd you say? Said What'd you, you sound like a cracker ass bitch. Man, you think it blowed up, nigga? Fuck you think I am, man? I'll blow you up, man. Like AK-47, my medicine cabinet, motherfucker. Shit. What are well, you talking about, man? I'll blow you up, man. I'll blow you up. You're pretty cringe. Yeah, you. Okay, I'm going. <laughs> Good. He's like, Jesus. I have to what say the end. Oh, it finally was. The time what the finally hell? came. I actively Bell, wanted right? to strangle him. He fucking fell to the trap. Oh my god. How did he actually <laughs> Oh, please oh, tell me you got that recorded. Oh, damn it. He's not he in fell. voice chat. Oh, oh wait. There he is. Yes. Yes. Oh, fucking god. upload that shit to YouTube. Anytime that guy fell. wants to be taken seriously, I want to play that clip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I yeah. I, 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 from, like, but I think he's right too aggressive, honestly. You know, the whole time I was. I mean, actually, yeah, I I understand like he likes the like pirate things, but it's like <laughs> he gets so he got so like <laughs> anal about me like talking oh, yeah. about green crosses. <laughs> no, it's like and how know, like was... yeah, like honestly, who gives that much of a shit about fucking green 